The army's on high alert. In Graubünden alone, there are 3,000 soldiers. This is a serious situation which we're specially trained to deal with. We have to be more vigilant than ever. The army's used to providing security for the World Economic Forum in Davos. But only a month ago, the army was asked to simultaneously cover the Syrian peace talks in Montreux, 230 kilometers away from Davos. We were forced to organize the military deployment for the Syria conference in a very short space of time. Air surveillance will be carried out in a 46-kilometer sector above Montreux. The Swiss and French Air Force will cooperate as part of this airspace is in France. The airspace over Davos includes the Austrian border, so the Austrian Air Force will also share air surveillance there. We can improve our cooperation with both air forces and, through our partners, ensure protection for areas just over the borders. The control centre is in Dubendorf, Canton Zurich. FA-18 jets and Tigers will be used to patrol the two airspaces. But the Tiger jets can only be flown in daylight hours, weather permitting. So it's a challenge to provide the same level of protection in both areas if the weather is bad. Only Defence Minister Uli Maurer has the competence to order enemy aircraft to be shot down over Swiss airspace. The French and Austrian governments are responsible for eliminating enemies in their own areas. From Tuesday, a state of emergency will be imposed in Swiss airspace, which will remain in force for four days.